So Robinhood has been all over the news lately, and on paper it seemed pretty great. But recently, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this brokerage. Yeah. So commission-free trading is pretty awesome. You used to have to pay around $10 for every trade you bought. So every time you bought a stock of Apple or Microsoft, etc., you have to pay 10 bucks. This has led to easy access for retail investors, people like you and I, to day trade and to invest relatively low cost. But it's a little bit more complex than that. There's really no such thing as free lunch, right? So we're gonna talk about the history of Robinhood, how commission-free trading works, and the implications of commission-free trading. And really, this has partly enabled the great short squeeze of 2021. So firstly, a little bit of history about Robinhood. It was founded in 2013, and its mission was to provide access to the financial markets for everyone, and not just the wealthy. And that's kind of where its name came from, the old myth of Robin Hood taking money from the rich and giving it to the poor. So it introduced the concept of commission-free trading, and soon afterwards, Charles Schwab, TD, all followed suit. Because how can you compete with free? So let's talk about how Robinhood works and how commission-free trading works. I hate to break it to you, but unfortunately Robinhood is not really free. It collects revenue through a process called payment for order flow. When you place an order, it doesn't go straight to the exchange. It actually goes through a third party that places the order for you. In this case, Robinhood would select the third party brokerage that is most beneficial to Robinhood as opposed to the user buying the stock. So this is pennies on the dollar for the consumer, but it could add up to millions if you consider the entire user base of Robinhood. Some other ways Robinhood makes money is Robinhood Gold, which is a subscription service for premium services, stock loan, where it loans securities, stocks to other businesses, income from cash, where it invests the uninvested cash in everyone's bank accounts on Robinhood, and finally cash management, which is a debit card system and it collects fees from using that debit card. So what are the implications of commission-free trading and payment for order flow? Well, first of all, inferior prices is a big issue with commission-free trading. The SEC, Security Exchange Commission, a regulatory body that regulates the stock market, investments, etc., has alleged that Robinhood users missed out on 34 million due to inferior prices. Robinhood would select the brokerage, the third-party trade executioner that benefits them, and this has led to 34 million in losses for Robinhood's users. Another issue is the gamification of investing. If you've ever used Robinhood, you'd notice that when you place a trade, confetti would go up and it would seem like you've won the lottery just by placing a trade. Well, this is an issue. It might feel like a casino when you're investing on Robinhood, and this has led to some issues. State regulators have said that Robinhood makes it too fun and easy to trade. As an example, a 20-year-old kid actually committed suicide because they falsely believed that they were under $730,000 in debt because of a temporary glitch in the interface. And it could be argued that the gamification of Robinhood has sucked this 20-year-old kid into the black hole of buying and selling options that led to such issues. If you compare Troll Schwab, for example, versus Robinhood, I was able to sign up for options almost immediately on Robinhood. Whereas on Schwab, I had to fill out a questionnaire, had to say how many years of investing experience I had, and go through this entire process just to trade options. So yes, Robinhood has democratized financial access, but maybe it's gone too far. Maybe it needs some sort of barriers in order to fully teach the implications of trading, of trading options for everyone. And thirdly, the last issue is that there's a low psychological barrier to buying and selling. And arguably, this has led to the great short squeeze of 2021. People are able to buy and buy and buy GameStop with minimum upfront implications, at least financially, because there's no commission. So it's easy to pump up stocks that have no fundamental value and create bubbles in the financial market. The risk here is that it might have a rippling effect to the rest of the markets because of this bubble, perhaps short sellers are covering their losses by selling their longs, which means that they're selling good stocks that will drive down the entirety of the market just to cover their losses. So that's it everybody. Hope you learned something today about Robinhood, about commission-free trading, and some of the implications surrounding that. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you like this content, and I'll see you in the next video.